Sagittarius, it's Amanda here with your November 2017 rune scope. This month in conjunction with the runes, I will be using the premium edition of the Tarot Art Nouveau by Lunea Weatherstone and Antonella Caselli. Um, as always, uh, uh, be sure to join me after this reading for part two over on my Vimeo channel. I will be pulling one card from the Fairy Ring Oracle. This is by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason, and that's your spiritual guidance for the month of November. So yeah, just click or tap show more beneath the video or that little arrow down there to open the details section. You'll find the link to Vimeo and your spiritual guidance for November over there. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by. If you haven't already, please do click subscribe if you find that I'm connecting with you and you're getting messages through my readings because that way you will be notified whenever I upload new videos. If you click subscriptions, it'll just go to your feed. I'll pop up there whenever I upload new videos or you can click the little bell icon and set up notifications to be notified when I upload my videos. But let's jump in first with our casting for Sagittarius and see which runes have something to say to you for November 2017? Sagittarius. As always, Sag, keep in mind these are general readings, so not all of these messages will apply specifically to you. Some are going to be for the other Sages that are watching. Um, you can always check out the video for your rising sign as well to get additional clarification or messages about what's going on for you in general but if you would like something far more specific you would need to schedule a private consultation with me that's the only way i can connect with just your energy and get messages only for you so um, if you would like to set that up just contact me at runescopes for you at gmail.com that's the number four in the letter u uh, it's also below in the details section and we can get that set up i do those on skype they are 70 dollars i will also have gift certificates available for the holidays through december 14th so if you would like to give the gift of a reading to a loved one uh just drop me a line and we will set that up but let's see in general what you sages are doing in november your challenge or focus you got the Six of Rods. Interesting challenge. Because um, it's not really that much of a challenge. But um, with the runes next to this, the Six of Rods is normally recognition, promotion, victory. Um, being honored, being appreciated, um, someone showing their appreciation for you. Um, getting an award, winning a contest, winning something. Um, but yeah, what's coming up next to this is like, you know, the challenges with Rido in reverse is that uh, you may have to go somewhere and do something in order to get this. You may have to, um, in order to achieve a victory or to achieve a success, you may need to relocate or move somewhere you don't really want to move to. Um, you may need to, uh, you know, it, it may be a promotion or something. If you get this, then you'll have to go to a different office or you'll have a longer commute. Or There's something about transit that, or relocating, and that's the... The sticky wicket here that's why this is coming up as a as a challenge um because there's some element here sagittarius of you want to keep doing things the same way you've been doing them but in, but to have this victory or to have this achievement you can't do that something's got to change um, maybe particularly regarding where you're living or your location um has to change um there's something about getting out of your comfort zone here, stepping out on your own in some way. And, you know, your talents, not connected to anyone else. It's all about you and your talents, your gifts. And in order to get recognition for that, the way things have been going, it's just, it's just been like this, a big circle. So 
And it'll be different areas of life for all of you. For some of you, maybe it's maybe it's a job holding you back. For some of you, maybe it's a relationship holding you back. Maybe it is a uh, like a location, a physical location where you're living. Maybe there just aren't opportunities for you where you are. So there's something that's got to change. And I think your challenge in November is to figure out what's keeping me on this, you know, circle from hell where I'm just getting sick and I can't ever, you know, achieve or go up or, or get off the merry-go-round here. What is it? Because it seems like as soon as you step out of that, this is yours, you know, the recognition, the victory, feeling excited. Um, for some of you, maybe you have anxiety about going some, like going on a job interview or going to talk to some, going after a promotion because then you would have to talk to maybe somebody that you find intimidating or, you know, that's not normally, you know, something Sagittarius is affected by, but everybody's different. So, and we've got a lot of different people. You know, you're all individuals. A lot of different people are watching this video. So, yeah, there may be something about a journey, something about a shift or change that you really want the outcome, but to get there, um, you know, there's some anxiety about it. And um, it's it's like you're, you're almost kind of, your challenge is to not talk yourself out of it. Uh, for some of you. Now, in the present energy, yeah, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So this could be um, end of October going into early November or the present whenever you're watching this video. Seven of Pentacles in reverse is, um, like, there's a job you're just sick of. You, you've got to get out of it. Um, and it's kind of interesting because a, a similar message came through for, for Leo. Um, but there's a safety to the monotony. There's a safety to the devil that you do know, um, rather than taking the leap, taking the risk into, you know, a, a new area, a new job, a new, uh, vocation, even though that seems to be available to you in November or the start of it is here, Sagittarius, all you got to do is kind of reach out and, and, and it'll be there. So just keep remembering how sick of this job you are. Because again, this in the reverse is like, I can't do this another day. Um, you know, I, it, it doesn't have to be a job. This could be a relationship that's holding you back. It could be, again, a location. You know, I can't live in this neighborhood or I can't stay in this city because there's, there are no opportunities in my career field. Whereas in this location, there's tons of them, you know? Um, but yeah, you may just be like, I've never lived on my own or I've never moved somewhere where I don't know anybody or I've always had that support of friends or family or, or whatever. And that may be causing you the anxiety. But Ingwas is here indicating there are great powers of good luck if you just take the risk, take the leap. That's the only thing at this point that's going to break you out of whatever this monotonous cycle is. And for many of you, I feel like it's a job. Um, it's like there's nowhere to go uh, for many of you in this job, in this location, or in this relationship. It's always going to be like this. It's never going to change. And I, I don't, again, I don't think I can do this for one more day. Um, you're banging your head against a brick wall here in some way, Sagittarius. Uh, and a new beginning is beckoning. You just need to kind of own it, you know, and jump into it. Own your confidence, right? Your your skills, your abilities. Math, don't let the anxiety hold you back. Um, push through it. Whatever you need to do to push through it. Because you're gonna, it's going to be worth it in the end. The help that's going to be available to you, we have temperance in reverse. So the help that's going to be available to you is not compromising. Okay, it's, it's, you're done compromising. I, maybe you've over compromised, you've given up too much, um, or you've put this off long enough. You know, maybe there was, maybe this safety served you, whatever this safety net is, whether it's a location or a job that's just routine and at least you know, you know, no surprises. It's time for a surprise here. And, um, what the temperance card in reverse is saying is like you've given up enough you've compromised enough it's uh it's your turn to jump into a new beginning 
um, and take on a new role, you've given up too much, Sagittarius, um, where you are in this relationship, in this job, in this location. Um, and you'll just keep, you'll keep over sacrificing if you stay there because yeah, the temperance card in reverse is like, this is not balance. So, um, it's time to go after what you want and kind of to hell with everyone else in November <laughs> because I don't know. I really feel like anybody who really truly cares for you, if it's a person that's kind of blocking you, if any, anybody who truly cares for you is going to want you to go after whatever this is. Um, they're going to want you to break through with this. Okay. Um, they would want to see you fly free and be happy and get out of a job that you hate or get out of a location where you don't have any job opportunities. And yeah, if you're partnered you, and you're both working, you have to consider that too. But, um, you know, maybe you, maybe you gave up something, you know, relationships are all about compromise. So I'm sure you gave up something for this person and it's their turn to kind of pay you back here. Um, it's their turn to give a little bit. Also, this could be just a realization for those of you that are creative. Um, and you know, we're usually, no matter what fields you're in, you have to be creative in some way, right? But especially you artists, musicians, writers, you know, making a living in the arts, painters. Um, in the reverse, you could be discovering, because in the upright, this can be about creating something out of nothing. And in the reverse, you could figure out what's been blocking you if you felt blocked creatively, or if your work has had a different feel to it and it hasn't been, maybe you haven't been as motivated or you haven't been as excited about it. Whatever this monotony is, it's like you're figuring out, again, that's your challenge in November to figure out what is it that keeps blocking me? Why am I? Why am I passing by the same stuff every day? Every day is exactly the same. Um, and if you are creative, yeah, it's like, you, it's gonna help you to figure out what's been blocking you and, and uh, getting out of that situation. But really, for the most part, the biggest help, the biggest advice is don't let anybody stand in your way. Don't, it's not a month to compromise. There are no compromises in November when it comes to new beginnings and uh, you really owning your gifts and starting something new. And I feel like for many of you, this is a job opportunity. Now, what must be accepted? You've got Nine of Cups, which is fantastic. That's the Wish Granted card in the Minor Arcana. So, um, yeah, this is feasting, celebrating you getting your wish. Um, And this is what's supposed to be happening because Aeol is here and, and Ansu's as well. So yeah, I many of you, like you could go on a job interview in November. If you push through this anxiety and you go, like you could get an offer on the spot or very quickly thereafter, like by Thanksgiving or, um, you know, by like some of you could be celebrating with your family. And that's when you get the message at some point over that four day break that, you know, you've gotten the job. Um, so yeah, check your email. I know it's holidays and vacation, but you may want to check your emails here, Sag, because you could be getting a message while you're feasting or celebrating. But I really think this Nine of Cups for most of you is just saying like, you know, you're going to get this. The thing is, though, it's causing disruption um, with someone who wants you to, say, to stay stuck. They feel better about themselves when you, they don't want you succeeding. Now, this could be somebody who claims to care about you, Sagittarius. Maybe they're not even aware that they're doing this. But I think it will become clear to you in November because again, anybody who loves you and cares for you wants to see you succeed, wants to see you fly free. They're not just concerned how it's gonna affect them. Um, you know, if they are your mate, if, they, if it is somebody you're married to, they're gonna want to do whatever they can to make this work for you because they know how much you want this. Um, this person could also be kind of feeding your anxiety, Sagittarius. So be aware of that. See people for what they're doing. See, you know, see those. Again, 
Love and support is love and support. There's really no, <laughs> if, oh, you don't want to do that or trying to talk you out of it or I'm not going to move there or whatever. Any kind of negativity like that, um, you know, maybe it's time you moved on on your own. Just saying. Because, I mean, if you pass whatever this is up, you're going to really regret it. You're going to regret it later in a way that you would not ever regret the end of a relationship or anything else that kind of went wrong. Because this seems to be a huge, like, fantastic chance for you to fly free and really kind of be, be Sag. Be who you are. Use your gifts. Use your talents. Um, now, for, you know, this doesn't have to be somebody who has the power even to hold you back. Because, you know, people only have the power that we give them over us so um but yeah it could be causing disruption with anyone who wants to kind of keep you where you are so it could be family for those of you um that are especially because it is november there's a holiday here in the states if you are celebrating thanksgiving it could be oh you have you share this wonderful news you get this wonderful news you share it with your family and then it's like for some reason it's threatening to people who are kind of you know and they want to make you feel less than anybody who wants to make you feel less than um, it's just like kind of drag, trying to drag you down to where they are or hold you back. So again, that says everything about them. Don't let it have anything to do with you. Um, now the four of cups is here in the reverse. So very cool. This is how we end November. This is an offer that you want. So this interview, it's going to go great by the way, whatever this anxiety is, if it's just getting to the interview, or maybe you have to travel if it is like a relocation job, a job you'd have to move for. Maybe you've never traveled on your own, you know, or, or maybe, yeah, and maybe this just doesn't work out that you can go with a partner or that anybody can go with you and you have to go on your own. Maybe you've never been on a plane. Um, you know, there are people who have never been on a plane. Um, maybe that's the anxiety. You're going to be fine, Sagittarius. Push through it because the interview is going to go so fantastic. Um, it's going to go so well, and you're just going to know that you've got it. I feel like you're going to know that you've got it, and then an offer comes in. Either at the end of November. If it doesn't come at the end of November, it you know, it'll come in time for your birthday, many of you. Um, I was just here indicating your goal is it's not unreasonable. To be hopeful that you uh, you got this job or you're going to get this offer uh, because it really does seem like and for many of you this seems to be maybe a creative field because we've got uh, the cups here on the table and you kind of getting out of this more monotonous I don't know kind of um, earth earthly kind of work like the kind of work earth signs would probably like being an accountant or something or maybe the same thing over and over maybe it's a factory job that you work in and you know this is finally based on um you know your experience or your studies or work creative work that you've done this seems to be more in line with what you want to do and your creativity and you're going to be able to really express yourself your gifts and talents sagittarius so an offer will soon be forthcoming if it's not coming in at the end of November. So just hang in there, Sag, because big things are afoot here and um, a wish is going to be granted when it comes to your creativity and it's leading you to a whole, a whole new beginning. Um, but that's what I see for November, all in all a good month, just no compromising. Um, but like I said, meet me over on Vimeo. I'm going to see which fairy from the fairy ring wants to give you some additional guidance and wisdom, uh, for how to handle the energies of November. The link again is below. I will see you over there and I will see you back here next month. Have a fantastic November.